German startup Nanoflow Cell will return to the Geneva Auto Show to unveil a brand new concept car. Named Quant 48 Volt. Like the company's earlier creations, the prototype is powered by a zero emissions drivetrain that relies on salt to generate the electricity needed to spin the wheels. The 48 volt will introduce Nanoflochel's next generation drivetrain, and its performance specifications are downright impressive, at least on paper. Four electric motors join forces to send an impressive 760 horsepower to all four wheels. The concept sprints from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour, in just 2, 4 seconds, and it goes on to a top speed that's electronically limited to 186 miles per hour. Nanoflocell, which has been touting its electrolyte liquid-powered sports cars, will premiere a concept version of its Quant 48 volt at this year's Geneva Motor Show next month. The Liechtenstein-based company is developing an engine powered by batteries that run on electrolyte liquid, otherwise known as flow batteries. They have some promise and purport to solve some of the issues of conventional batteries, but we've yet to see any proof beyond the company's estimates. Take the rest of this report with a pinch of salt. Perhaps, too. The numbers thrown out by Nanoflow Cell are pretty impressive. The Quant 48 volts motor will deliver 760 horsepower that will propel the all-wheel drive car from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a tidy 2, 4 seconds, and the car will have a top speed of about 180 miles per hour. The car's layout, complete with tanks for positive and negative liquid electrolytes allows for 40 gallons of fluid and a full tank range of more than 600 miles. More impressive on the green front is that the company estimates the liquid to cost less than a nickel per gallon. The unknowns are the price of the car, the expected on sale date, and whether any of these numbers will pan out. Nanoflow Cell was pitching a model called the Quant F way back in the fall of 2015 saying that the gullwing beast delivered more than 1.000 horsepower. At the time, the company said it was planning a Switzerland plant that would start producing vehicles as soon as 2018, which indeed is coming up pretty soon. The company also said it was working on a more reasonably priced. Again, we have no point of comparison. Model called the Quanchino whose motor was to deliver a far more modest 136 horsepower. Damning reports suggests you'll never commute in Elio Motors' three-wheeler. The drivetrain is new, but it operates in the same way as before. The 48-volt relies on two types of ionized fluids, one with a positive charge, one with a negative charge, stored in separate tanks, to generate electricity. Nanoflow Cell explains that ionic fluid is essentially salt in a liquid state, and it's neither toxic nor flammable. A single picture of the concept shows a shapely rear end characterized by wide air dams integrated into the bumper, tail lights that bear a surprising resemblance to the ones found on the Alpine Vision concept, and a double bubble roof panel. The proportions suggest the 48 volt is a coupe but we won't know for sure until the Geneva show opens its doors next month. The Nanoflow Cell Quant 48 volt sounds like a highly futuristic concept car developed for the auto show circuit, and in many ways it is. However, it might be closer to production than you think. Last fall, the company announced it was talking with a partner about bringing the technology to production. Details about the deal were few and far between but founder Nunzio Lavecchia affirmed a salt-powered car, and the network of stations needed to refuel it, could become a reality in just four or five years' time. Read more, http, www.digitaltrends.com, cars, nanoflow cell quant, 48-volt news specs performance preview, hash ixts 4 xh one d 2 e one n Follow us. At Digital Trends on Twitter, Digital Trends on Facebook.